add a few Wi-Fi problems, but we'll make it work with what we got. And I'm sure you guys will join me in a bit. I'm just gonna show you all how I play around with paint, cause that's what it is, it's play. This is an old sketch from something I just had in my book. I said, eh, I never like to waste anything, so we're just gonna use it as a starting point. And for me, playing, exploring, connecting with paint is a way to relax, a way to free my mind from stress and problems. And with 2020 coming to an end, I think this could be no better way for me, personally, to spend my last few hours of 2020. So, yeah. We're gonna play in a little paint. And this is just some paint I grabbed. I don't really have a color theme or anything. It's all about freedom, connecting to your inner child, exploring and playing. Mm, that one's not open. And usually I pick about two or three colors, no more than that, until things dry. And that's because I don't want stuff to get muddy. And this is just some mixed media paper. I've done this on any type of paper, old magazine paper sometimes. It's just an experiment to see what colors work or whatever, you know, like testers. But for now, we've got two bright colors. And I usually like to do one bright, one medium, like in between color, and then one dark. So I'm going to grab this black as our dark. And we'll just drop a few drops of that down. I don't have a plan. Again, it's all about kind of being free. Inner subconscious mind. Making some decisions. Kind of connect. Yeah. So this is what we got so far. And I'll back up a little bit. And let it do what it do. So to start with, I have got not a paintbrush, because that's not what I like to play with. I've got kitchen spatula, and I've got, this is actually a tag of Goodwill, just a little piece of paper. And I like things to scrape and play with that. This falls under the category of oddly satisfying. And I'm not pressing down too hard. Kind of just letting it drag and those colors mix. But not too much. You want them to have their own space and place. Not trying to make mud. Mud is what I call it when you over mix everything. No strategy, no plan. And again, the strong is just already here from something else. So we're just playing around with that as a support. Don't need it, don't have to have it. And I've got my fun little piece of fork here. Fork is gonna let you kind of just add another layer of texture. Texture is what I'm about. Kind of helps with making it feel like there's a sense of freedom and movement in there, not static. I got a little paint here on the end of this, so I'll just tap that. And it makes a little shape that's repetitious that you can kind of explore and play with. It's all about the mark. And a little bit more freedom in your mark making. Letting go of the control. You don't know what you're gonna get, but you're also freeing yourself for possibility. Possibility. It's good to think about at the end of 2020, what possible things might change and happen. So that's what we're playing around with. 
ahead, I'm gonna add a bit more to that because I liked how it was playing around with the other colors. So if I like it, I'll give it some more. And we're gonna throw in a little bit of blue. A little bit of blue. And I'm gonna switch papers in a minute because you don't want to get too committed. It's play time. It's not finish time. So I got my spatula. And I'm going to let y'all see what I like to do with my spatula. Just a good old swipey swipe. Swipe. Swipe, swipe, swipe. I can wipe that paint back out and it happens to have that drawing under there so I can just pull that out if I like and we're gonna drag that across and up yeah I like how that blue is pulling in there we'll put those dots back I like them but they gotta go for the surface of the hole and at this point I'm just filling in little gaps and again, lightly dragging that spatula very lightly. Just kind of being friends with it, not putting too much pressure on you or the spatula. Just having a little fun, you know? Like playing with Legos, just seeing what you make. I got that yellow, and I'm going to pull that in. If you don't have a spatula, a credit card does a nice, fair job. You just want something fairly stiff but flexible at the same time, if that makes sense. Something you can bend. Nothing too, too stiff. Nothing that won't flex at all. That's no good. A little flex game. And I'm sure to somebody looking at this, you might say, well, this looks like a mess. But that might be life, you know? You got to work with it and build upon it and then eventually if you stick with it you find something beautiful and that's what this is about so i'm going to actually set that aside i'll probably show you guys how this comes out later after it's dried a bit before i move on i do want to come in with that fork i liked how it was playing around before I'm going to put some more marks in there because I did enjoy that. Once it dries with this, I got a vision. I already see what I like to do to finish it off. Probably come back in with some oil pastels or something. You know, sometimes they're just bases and sometimes you start to see things that you want to pull out. In this case, I do. See something I'd like to pull out later once it dries, though. So right now, if we do too much, we're going to get mud. This is not the goal. This is not the goal. That fork does a nice job for us of pulling some mark making in, but not doing too much. I'm going to put the fork down in a second after we get these little dots. All right, so we're gonna let that paper do what it do and I'll show you all how that looks a little bit later. Again, I'm not gonna take too long of your life here, but we're gonna pull one more piece of paper at least so you can see what I do with a top. A top is a fun thing. Everybody's got something around laying around. And in this case, a top and a fork and a pencil can be a nice textural element. And again, no particular plan of order, just some color. And I liked how that ultramarine blue looked. I just love blue. Blue, it's like the ocean. It's like souls just coming back and forth, like waves pushing and pulling. So we've got our light, we got this blue, and I'm gonna actually add in just a little bit of gray, just a little bit. 
a little contrast. A little darkest, 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 but not too dark. And we are going to go ahead and use the same old spatula, but we're going to clean it off. Because God forbid, contamination. Contamination. It's no good. Let's get that out of there. And just go for some movement. Think about the body and shape. And stay loose. Stay loose. Don't get too tied up. And this came out really nice, really fast. I like what I have. And just like that, you start to see a little something, something. Well, I do anyway. And you kind of play around with that. And I like to just grab a little color and spread it around. You don't need too much paint on the page. Now all that, just with a little old kitchen spatula. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just dabbing it a little bit. Boom, boom. And it makes this nice little line that I like. Grab a little bit more color. A little bit more. Now, we all see what we can do at the top. I actually want a smaller top because of how this came out. So we're going to take this same old top we used. Just going twist, twist. Gotta have enough little excess paint there. So again, not too much, but not too cheap. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little blue from here. I just wiped it. I'm using the edge of the top. Not the whole circle, I'm just rocking it to get a different type of mark. You know, again, it's all about just seeing what'll happen. Like life, what'll happen. So yeah. My top, doing this thing. Now, I personally feel like I need a little bit more darkness here, a little more contrast. It's fairly light, so we're going to put just a bit around the back. You'll see I kind of draw with the paint a little bit. Because again, it's anything but brushes. Just want to give it some direction. I'm going to come back with that bigger top. In that blackness and pull some right there, pull some right there. I'll just twist it up. Enough paint on there is pretty effective. Now the question is, do I like this like this? I'm not against it, but I feel like I liked it better the other way. But that's a good thing about paint. Let it dry. And uh yeah, you can paint over it. I might be just talking to myself, which is fine, because I really can't see and do this on the little computer business. But yeah, just rocking with this. 
I'm gonna let it dry. Let's see. Well, I wanna knock it back. And if I say knock it back, that just means what it sounds like. Get something. Get rid of some of the stuff that I might not like. Knock it back. Paint is paint. You can just keep on building it on. Don't you want to do too, too much. Overwork the thing. Speaking of overwork, I think I'm going to just let this be for now. Let's see what I got a little bit later. I'll set that down over there. I've got this little tool thing that I think I'll use to break up this black business. Flip the camera away, I'm gonna let y'all see what shenanigans we have created together. In this fun little demo workshop. If you were not able to hit the button to join in in time, I'll have this posted on my site on YouTube and uh Fulton County you have it as well so you can check it out later hey guys D Mac uh, half 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 so that's my final look product from a little play date with a bit of paint and a few simple tools. We've got our fork there, Mr. Spatula, and a couple of bottles of paint, a Goodwill tag, so any old piece of paper that's a bit stiff will do. And I uh, hope you guys like it. I personally feel like it could go with a little bit of happiness and joy to close out. We're gonna add just a little something extra to end 2020. A little, I call it the fairy dust. Stardust. A little shine and climb. Because why not? And that's just a little diamond dust. You can't tell right now how lovely it's going to dry, but. You'll see later. I'll share later how things came together. Okay. Yeah. Hope you like it. Have fun, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. See y'all next year. Peace. And again, if you want to see this video and check out what I did with it and see the final results, Fulton County sponsored this. Thank you, Fulton County, Fulton County Arts Commissioners. It'll be posted later in the next year for you to see, as well as on my YouTube channel. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.